Hello, in the previous videos I have shown you how to uh, produce a DEM from a 3D object generated by Metashape and then import that object into QGIS and using the styling tools of GIS basically highlighting the features of the three-dimensional object. So in this case, by using the hill shade, we can explore uh, different light sources using a different azimuth. So what I'm going to do now is to export this image into a, a rendered image using the raw uh, pixel values of this image, of the DEM and then use that information to generate a color map that we can use in Blender so we can explore it as if we were using RTI. Okay, so the first step is to grab one of these layers, duplicate it, so just to avoid losing the things that we have done. So this is the layer that I'm going to use and I'm going to change from single band pseudo color to single band gray. So just to have this and then I'm going to right click, export, save as and the output mode is going to be a rendered image and that's it. The format is going to be again GeoDiv. So let's, we have to ch choose a name and a folder. So I'm going to use this folder that I have been using. So render it DM. So it's going to be called like that and save. Okay. Okay. Once you have save this image as a rendered uh, T file, you can open it in, oops, I'm going to close that one. You can open it in uh, your favorite uh, image editing software. So in this case, I'm going to use GIMP. Okay, there we go. Um, and before I export it, actually, I'm going to get rid of the areas of the image that I don't like. So for this, I'm going to use this selection tool, which is called the free select, or you can press the letter F. Uh, if you have, uh, for instance, the scissors selected, if you just click and keep the button pressed, you will see the other options. So I'm going to use the free select. I'm just going to make a selection around my object. Something like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, there you go. And then I'm going to select invert. So I actually select the outside of that selection and then I will just click delete something like that and then I can use image image crop to selection oops sorry image crop to content there you go and now we can file export as and I'm going to use PNG I'm going to save it in the same folder that I have been using and I'm going to accept the default values so export 
Okay, that's it. Now I'm gonna use this online tool called Normal Map Online. So if you just click here and select the image that you want to uh, transform into a normal map, just select your PNG image, open it, and then it will be open in the program. I will show you later how to use this. But the, uh, you can also use a uh, GIMP to generate a normal map. And you can download this GIMP normal map plugin. And here it says how to install it and everything. Okay, now that I have my image loaded into this program, the first thing I want to do is just to change the model from cube to plane so I can see the same image. And for this exercise, I'm just going to play a little bit with the strength, the level, a little bit coarser, something like that. So as you can see, it's already working. So we don't have to play with the direction of the light source. A normal map will just try to show you what is in the image. I think that's OK. That looks a little bit exaggerated. I think I like it like that. Yes. And then you can just export all these images or just the normal map. In this case, I will download only the normal map for the next step. OK, I have it here. Now let's go to Blender. OK, so Blender is a program that is a little bit difficult to use. But uh, for this exercise, I will try to be as practical as possible and as quick as possible. So the first step is once you have your Blender open, you will have this cube. So just uh, be sure that this tool is selected. Click on the, on the cube and delete it. And now we're going to add a plane. Add Mesh plane. And finally, I'm going to use the letter S to scale the plane. So just be sure that the plane is selected. So you can see that there is an orange outline showing you that it's selected. So just be sure that your plane is selected. Press the letter S. And just make it a little bit bigger, something like that. That's it. And now in Blender, you also have views. So if you press the letter Z or numpad 7, it will not, if you don't have a numpad, it will not work if you just press 7. So if you don't have a numpad, just press literally the blue button that says Z, and you will have the top down view. If you press Y, you will have like a right view. If you press X, you will have a left view and so on. So what we want now is the top down view. Now in Blender, you also have the light source here. We're not going to play it uh, right now, uh, but you also have the camera. So for this exercise, uh, I'm just going to focus on the light source. Uh, I'm not going to touch it right now. But you will see uh, you will see it later. But just be sure that it's here, and you can see it. This is the camera. This is for rendering purposes. But I can show it uh, that later, probably in another video. Anyway, um, there are a couple of things that we need to do before we load the normal map. First, be sure that the render engine is Eve. Uh, is the fastest render engine and you can see it working in real time. And the other thing that you want to be sure is that the light source, so in this case the light source, uh, if you press here, you will see like a bulb here. So just be sure that it's point. Okay, so that's it. Now, select your plane, 
and go to the tab shading and you will see something like this you will notice that the plane is selected so now just press new and you will see the princip the principal BSDF uh, shading panel so I will I will not go into details for explaining uh, what is this about basically you can control the roughness the texture everything about your 3d model if you have a 3d model but in this case it's just plain but we're gonna use the normal map to create a fake shading so the first thing we need to do is to um, to add a new node that will import the image so in this case it is a texture so if you press shift A you will have this menu where you can search the node that we want or you can also go to add search or add vector um, oh, sorry texture and image texture so you can use whatever so i'm going to use just shift a search texture image texture so in this option just open your normal map so it's this one okay and be sure that change the color space from srgb to no color because technically we don't want to use the color to represent this uh, normal map so we just want the values of the image to generate the shades okay but to use a normal map in blender we need to use another node so control sh uh, sorry shift a then search and look for normal so select normal map and we just need to link color to color and normal to normal and that's it and if everything is okay you will see that kind of an image appears here okay let's put it in in set and because everything is all right if we just select the light source and press G to move it you should see some changes here now the problem is that nothing is happening why nothing is happening the reason nothing is happening is because we are seeing the object in viewport shading mode so in order to see changes we can either change it to viewport shading or to uh, return to layout and then shading so if we are in shading we can just go here or we can go to the tab layout and press this button okay now grab your light source press G to move it and now as you can see you can explore the image as we were using it in QGIS but in Blender now this is not a 3D object this is just a normal map whose values allow us to create textures in the image so that's why we can do this but the image is actually flat we can if we want uh, use the DEM to actually generate a 3D surface but probably that's for another video along with uh, the textures and so on so that's it. Thank you.